What's up, everybody? So, Tower Fantasy has been out for a while now, and you might have caught up to the level cap, or you've reached max exploration in all the regions, and you're kind of wondering, well, what should I do now to keep myself busy in the game? What different things are in the game that I can do to be benefited from? And so this is just a quick little list of a couple things that you can do daily that will help you out and will give you something to do and give you progress towards other stuff like equipment, gift boxes, stuff like that. When you log in, you're going to see daily bounties, and you have four of these every day. They're not a huge time commitment. It's sometimes killing one large enemy or killing multiple smaller enemies. And you will get some pretty good rewards from them every day. You get the gold nucleus every day and also some upgrade materials. As you complete these bounties, you will get experience towards ranking up. And once you rank up, you can claim rewards from that as well. It's that top bar on the bounty screen with the three stars on it. And so just make sure to claim those rewards as you get them. Next up, we have Mia's Kitchen. This can be done three times per day, once at 5 a.m., 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. These stack up to three times, and so as long as you're doing it once per day, you won't overstack on any of them. But if you do happen to go for longer than a day without collecting it, the game does have a catch-up feature for a certain amount of passes. It will save them, and you can when you log in, get the rewards, gives you some XP, some weapon enhancement material, and some matrix enhancement. Moving on, we have the training tab, and these trainings will give you points as you complete them. You get two a day, and they will range from different point values. So the ones in the more beginner zones, per se, give less points, and the ones in later zones, like Warren, give the most amount of points. So you want to do the most amount of points possible every day, because it'll get you all these weapon batteries, matrix data packs, gift boxes, all the good stuff. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go to the black market in Cetus Island for your daily gifts. So at the black market, you're going to talk to Hopkins, and he's going to give you an option between two boxes. These boxes are going to contain a randomized gift. So it doesn't matter which box you pick because it's completely random. You're going to go ahead and get your gift, and then you're going to move on to Cetus Island. Once you get to Cetus Island, you're going to want to go ahead and run around the big tent in the middle to the other side where there will be a little game machine. This will be a claw machine game, which is super fun to do. You get three tries every day, and when you go in, it's just your standard claw machine. Up, down, left, right, you're going to use your mouse to click the arrows, drop the button, and this will give you an assortment of gifts that you can give to your simulacrum. Now, there's purple gifts and blue gifts mixed into here, so I just went for the pretty blue and purple glowing gift, and it turned out to be purple, which is pretty cool. I believe this gift is very good for Subasa, so I will be hanging on to that. But you're just going to want to go ahead and do that your three times every day. So as I'm sure you know, we have access to vehicle maintenance, and this is super important it will give you dark crystals, you can unlock different colors for it. So what you're going to want to do is go to High Cross, which you can get to from any, any Omnium Tower, and just teleport to the Omnium Tower and then click the Teleport to High Cross prompt. Once you get in, just search anything that you think can be searchable, like boxes, trash cans, vending machines, storage boxes, stuff like that. You really never know what can be searched. so Run up to everything and try everything. And once you do all that, you'll see that it gives you some pretty decent amount of materials to upgrade vehicles. And I actually was able to upgrade one of my mounts and get some dark crystals from it. So that's super good reason to do this every day. It doesn't take too long. Now, if you've gone through all that and you're sitting there you're like, okay, what do I do now? There's also the Bygone Phantasm as well as the sequential phantasm. Now these are great supplementary things to do. It's one of the main sources of getting upgrade materials for your gear in order to boost your CS and boost your stats. That's super helpful. In the sequential phantasm here, there's actually a separate dose of weekly points rewards, which is separate from the leaderboard. So 
it'll give you some pretty decent rewards just pushing it that a little bit and you can get yourself some good upgrade materials as well as some bulls and once you get in you'll see in the team ranking for bygone phantasm in the overall battlefield of champions every tier will give you something even if you're not in that top 10 top 5 you'll still get a decent amount of rewards from it that is super good to have now after all that you're still below your level cap you can do this route on astra which is just following these markers around that i have go to each marker clear out the area in between it or around it and just go in the circle it gives about 150,000 xp give or take a little bit and it takes roughly 25 minutes to do so in an hour you could be looking at 300 to 400,000 xp which is pretty good but up here in these higher levels where the level cap is at 3 million plus xp it might take you a little bit but it is still good to have that option of running around and getting chests you'll as you do it you'll get chests you'll get the password unlocks and you'll get a lot of upgrade materials from that so those are some things that you can do if you're a little bit lost on what you want to do to fill your time in tower of fantasy of course this is just purely if you want to fill in your time if you don't if you just want to hop in clear your vitality hop out to another game obviously that's 100 percent fine after all it's a video game we play them for fun never forget that thank you all for watching i hope you'll subscribe to the channel it helps out a lot more than you'll ever know leave a like and comment if this video helped you at all and i'll see you next time